Hey YouTube, so today is um, basically going to be a review and a demo on the NYX, um, the NYX eyebrow gel. Um, I'm going to explain um, basically how I used it, the process, where I got it from, um, how much it retailed for, the tools I used to apply it, and basically a thumbs up or thumbs down of the product. So let's get started. Okay. So basically, yeah, this is the NYX eyebrow gel. It um I got it in the color espresso, which is kind of like a dark brown. Um I would actually say that I like the product a lot. Um my eyebrows are very dark by themselves, so I've been using the Anastasia um pomade in the color black which I'll actually compare those two later but um this is um retailed for about seven dollars I think it was seven dollars I got it from Ulta um it is waterproof long lasting and smudge proof it is about 0.34 fluid ounces so it's not that much but you actually don't need that much um if you can see, I kind of got a lot of mess on my hand, but this dark spot was how much I needed for both of my eyebrows. So, um, it goes a long way. It should last like a really long time. I would say that, um, like you don't need that much. It's very pigmented and I do recommend it a lot. What I actually use to apply this is a angled brush. Um, a duo angle brush and spoolie, which is this, if you can see it, there's the angle and here's the spoolie. And, um, like I said, you don't need that much. I'm actually, um, going to get into a demo on how I do it after I go ahead and basically explain this. Um, so yeah, I do highly recommend it when comparing it to the Anastasia, uh-oh. Anastasia pomade it's actually cheaper of course um, the Anastasia pomade ranged from I think 18 to 20 bucks um, I also got this from Ulta so um, as far as the texture and everything of them they're pretty much the same um, the reason why I have one black and one brown is because the black is actually closer to my eyebrow color I would say I don't know like when I put it on it doesn't make a difference on which one I use if that makes sense this actually lightens my brows but it makes them look more natural and this one is basically I think I would say my eyebrow color so when trying to figure out which one you should get if you're into the um, the titles and the brands, they're actually both good, NYX and Anastasia, but NYX is cheaper, like a whole $12, $13 cheaper. Um, so yeah, the, if you can see here, I haven't used that much of the Anastasia, like a, a little goes a long way with this as well. And I would say that I would use the Anastasia when actually doing a full glam like I don't even know like a crazy glam full face look bolder brows and this would be more like a natural natural looking brow I guess so this actually lightens my brows I love it um I do recommend it it's not that expensive you get it from your Ulta your Sephora your um I don't know general places like that but I got from Ulta for about seven bucks um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the um yeah jump right into the demo of this product so just keep watching okay <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is just taking the the eyebrow gel and putting just like a tiny dot on the back of my hand and I'll take my angled brush and I'm just going to just start outlining 
my natural brow. If you watch some of my brow tutorials, you'll see this is just the basic uh, steps that I always do. But um, So it's not really anything much different. Just outlining the bottom of my natural brow. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the top and make sure they're not too far out of the natural line brow because I, this is, you know, I want it to be natural looking. So um, just fill in the sparse areas of my brow. Not that much product. I'm just kind of reusing the product that I have and um, brushing my eyebrow hairs in the direction that I want them to lay because since this is gel, um, it's waterproof, it's smudge proof, so it's going to dry where, you know, you brush them. So you want them brushed in the correct area. And then I do the same thing to the other brow. Outlining the bottom, filling them in as I go, and outlining the top. Making sure they um, pretty much look the same. The same arch is the same. Not too overdrawn because we do want them to look natural. So I'm gonna repeat these steps of filling them in until I get the eyebrow that I want. Okay, so now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan, and I'm taking a flat angled brush and I'm going to apply the concealer with that. I'm going to um, outline very closely to my eyebrow line. Um, this helps clean it up, helps it look fresh. Um, it looks kind of crazy when it's blended out because it looks like that's just how I'm going to keep it, but it's not. Just got to keep watching. So, yeah, I just um, basically clean up. My eyebrow make it look very fresh and I blend that in to my skin and I'm going to do that to the top and the bottom very thin line and we want it to look as sharp and clean as possible so you just repeat this until you um, get all of the excess brow gel that you kind of went out of place with and clean that up and I'm going to do that to both brows okay so right now I look kind of crazy but that's okay I'm going to take um, some foundation this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the color Cappuccino. And I use this color because I actually, when using this as a foundation, I have to mix it because it's too light. But I think it's perfect for when I am going over my concealer. So I take a lighter foundation and basically hide that light concealer because just wearing it like that looks ridiculous. So... I take a small concealer brush and I am applying the foundation all over uh, where I put that concealer to make it blend naturally into my skin. Um, you can just do a, um, you can just clean up your brows with a just a foundation if you don't want to use a concealer. But I use the concealer first to um, it because it makes a huge difference in the cleaning up process. So it makes, um, how do I explain it? It's easier to tell um, where exactly you're cleaning your brows and how sharp it is and how neat it is. Um, so it gives that difference. It makes it easier. And then I go over it with the foundation. So however you want to do it, it's up to you. But this is just how I've been doing it. So I'm applying the foundation all over my lid. Make sure it's blended in nicely, the top and bottom. And, yep.
Okay, so right here I'm taking that foundation and just cleaning up that middle part because if you don't, it looks like your eyebrows are trying to form as one and it looks like unibrow. So I clean that up and then I just brush the beginning of my eyebrows in upward and clean up any, you know, foundation that looks like it's just sitting on my face. <laughs> so I just blend that in, brush the hairs one last time and that's basically all that I do. So I hope you guys enjoy this um, demo and I hope it helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so here's a final look with um, a full face, my foundation, a little highlighting and contouring, not that much. But here's the full face. Um, and as you can see, the eyebrows are still looking nice and um like I said I do recommend this product um you it goes a long way a little goes a long way and it was very cheap and inexpensive so go ahead and buy this product oh crap <laughs> uh yeah go buy the product and if you have any questions or comments or anything like that leave them below and thank you for watching see you guys later